to People Helping People. I'm Ellen Gerstein, the director of the Gwinnett Coalition for Health and Human Services. The Gwinnett Coalition is a nonprofit organization dedicated to addressing health and human service needs of citizens who reside in Gwinnett County, Georgia. We connect people with the resources to help them. People Helping People touches upon major issues concerning Gwinnett County residents. We are excited to be here today with the Youth Advisory Board members of the Gwinnett United and Drug Education, otherwise known as GUIDE, to discuss Alcohol Awareness Month and the importance of underage drinking prevention. Help me welcome GUIDE's Youth Advisory Board President, Patricia Granda Molliver. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> and Youth Advisory Board member, CJ Jordan. Welcome to the show. It's great to be here. To be <laughs> All right, so Patricia, what is GUIDE? So GUIDE was founded in 1986 as a joint effort between the Gwinnett Board of Commissioners and Gwinnett Board of Education. And their mission is really to bring information to the Gwinnett community, to promote positive youth development, to improve community conditions, and most importantly, to bring awareness to all the issues that substance use and abuse can bring to people. And YAB specifically, or the Youth Advisory Board, which is what me and CJ are on, is just a group of high schoolers across Gwinnett County that come together once a month. Um, we have a meeting and we really focus on leadership skills and we bring youth input to guide and we also conduct a lot of substance abuse prevention projects and campaigns and some stuff we've done in the past include Red Ribbon Week projects as well as like 420 campaigns so it's something really fun. I know what 420 is. <laughs> the, uh, my organization, you also help us with a lot of our substance abuse prevention work and especially the marijuana stuff which is mm -hmm. the 420 stuff so I'm totally impressed with the YAB and the work that you guys have done and all the students before you as well. All right, so what kind of pressure is out there for teens and, you know, what can you do about it? Um, so there's a lot of pressure out there for teens. Um, it's a common misconception actually that uh, most teens drink but according to statistics, most uh, teens don't actually drink. It's just the ones that do drink are very vocal. So that influences the whole teen community. Um, basically, they perceive that everybody drinks, so then everybody wants to drink. But that's a large misconception that's actually not true. And um, the rates of teens actually drinking are actually decreasing in Gwinnett County. They are. We've been doing a good job working on that. So why is alcohol awareness important in the community? Well, alcohol awareness is really important because teens should know about all the issues and the bad things that can happen due to it. And some things could include accidents, injuries, also the brain development and activity can be interrupted due to it. It can also cause lower grades, DUIs, and other charges. So it's overall just very bad for teens. Yeah, I know the information about the brain development has been so interesting regarding the underage drinking and how it affects the teenage brain and then the new research about how marijuana affects the teenage brain. Just fascinating. So it's great that y'all are helping to get the word out. So how bad do you think the problem is in Gwinnett? Um, it's the, the uh, problem, it seems pretty bad because a lot of teens are promoting it. Like I said, they're very vocal. Um, but the problem isn't as bad as many would uh, perceive it is. Right, that's what um, you were talking about before. Yes, mm -hmm. so um, yes, there is a real problem, uh, and that's what our organization is for, uh, addressing that problem and doing things in the community to stop that. So, and uh, it seems that we're doing a, a very good job because, as I said before, the uh, statistics in Gwinnett County for uh, teens that actually drink are decreasing. So yes, it seems like it's doing, we're doing our job. Right, I know one of the approaches that we take instead of just concentrating on you know all the bad things that are going on in our community and society, we talk about what are the positive things that youth can get involved in. And I know the YAB is one of those. Definitely. So y'all are providing some great <laughs> leadership. Anything else y'all wanna say about this? 
Well, I definitely think what YAB is doing is very impactful in the community. Um, uh, there are other organizations like us, but I don't feel that there's many to where a lot of people can get the entire message. So as much as we can impact the community matters in the uh, community greatly because um, no matter how much um, we do and how much we impact the community, um, I think it's good at what we're doing. So I'm, I'm very impressed and I just have to let y'all tell the viewers just how old y'all are and what school you go to and that kind of thing. Because y'all are a lot younger than me. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I just turned 18 and I go to Collins Hill High School. And you're a senior, yes. right? Yes. And I'm 17 and I go to Peachtree Ridge High School. I turned 18 later this year in September. Well, when I talk to youth like you, like you too, it gives me a lot of hope for our future. So thanks for working on the YAB and being involved in our community and for everything that you've been doing to make a difference and for being on the show today. Thank you. When we come back, more students will join us in a roundtable discussion about their views on drinking alcohol and projects they are working on. Please stay tuned. Parents, you are the number one influence in our decision not to drink. To help prevent us from drinking alcohol, we need you to talk openly with us, spend time with us, trust us, set an example. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to People Helping People. Today we are talking about alcohol awareness and with me are some of Guide's Youth Advisory Board members. Each is active on the board as well as leading efforts in their local high schools here in Gwinnett. I'm here with Youth Advisory Board members Sage Carson, Ryan Kyle, and Haley Gray. So please tell me what kinds of things have you been involved in that relate to underage drinking? Um, well, last October we participated in Gwinnett County's 6th Annual Public Health Festival. Um, that was at Corey Field and we had a booth and we set up and we passed out information packets and it included statistics and information about um, underage drinking and how to prevent it and statistics to tell parents. Um, we participate in some cam campaigns at the different high schools such as Peace Ridge which is where I go to and we are trying, we basically try to um, fix the misperception that all uh, students drink because they don't. And so for the first month, we just did a informational, or not information, a, um, a poster which is a st statistic. And then we did that for one week. And then in the next month, we came back with one that had a little bit of information about the fact that not all students drink. And for my school specifically, it was 90% of students did not drink. Wow. And we also recently are participating where we're having a prom hangers campaign and we printed out these little door hangers and we're hanging them on prom dresses since it's prom season and people are looking for dresses. And on them it has list of, a list of things that say stuff you can do after prom other than drink and like party and just like you can go bowling or just go to a movie or just have a good time doing something other than drinking. What time is prom over at? Uh, Ours 11. is 11. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, it could be some things, nice movie or something like that would be fun. Hmm. Interesting. So, how much influence do you think parents have? I personally think a lot. Um, 
parents set the example for their children. So if they drink and their children see it or they allow their children to participate, then that's giving the, ch the child the okay to drink, which is not good. And then that results in them drinking outside the household and participating in other high-risk involvement activities such as other drugs. What do y'all think? Um, I believe that um, alcohol awareness, it is a major key and important um, to parents because if they don't um, address the issue themselves for adults, now how are they gonna teach that to their children? Right, because parents are the major influence on their child's life, children look to them to have an example of what they should be doing. So if they see their parents drinking or being drunk, then their children are gonna think it's okay for them to do that as well. So what do you think is more influential, your peer group on your behavior or your parent? For me, I say parents just because they really have always been present in my life and most of the decisions I make, like I think about them before I make that decision. So that's why my parents have a big influence on my life. Like my parents don't drink, they've never drank around me, I've never seen them drink. So that's why I choose not to drink as well, or that's a major part of why. For me personally, uh, same thing, my parents are big influence on me. But I just know for some other students who don't have the major uh, father or mother figure, that they tend to go to ideas and things for their, I mean, from their friends. Mm -hmm. I agree with both of them. Uh, my parents do not drink, and that's the main reason why I do not drink. But then the school that I go to, I know that a lot of students do drink because they are um, forced into peer pressure and they think it's cool and that it's fun and it's the new thing to do, when really it's not. So they fall into, you know, um, trying to do what's popular instead of what's right. Well, I know from coming in contact with y'all, that the ones that aren't drinking, y'all are the smart ones and you're going to these big fancy colleges and got great futures ahead of you. So I'm totally impressed with that. And um, like I was telling the youth before, it gives me a lot of hope uh, for my future because y'all gonna have to be taking care of me <laughs> um, to, you know, have such wonderful youth involved in our community and going to give back, continue to give back. So thank you for what you do, thank you. working thank with you. the YAB, and for being on the show today. Thank you. Stay with us when other Youth Advisory Board members will share their thoughts about this program. Parents, you are the key to your teen's future. By not providing alcohol at teen parties, you increase the chance of your teen getting his or her driver's license, your teen graduating, your teen going to college, your teen having a career, your teen having a family and a house. Thank you for not allowing teenage drinking. Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, because when I grow up, I want to be a cook, too. But he has the same faces like this. Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. Welcome back to People Helping People. Joining me are Youth Advisory Board members, and I'm gonna let them pronounce and introduce themselves, so. I'm Brandon Brinson. I'm Toji Pesu. And I'm Don Allen Ike. Perfect. And they're gonna share with us how they became involved with preventing drug and alcohol abuse with the Youth Advisory Board. So, how do you come um, to be involved with the Youth Advisory Board? Um, well, you have to be a high school student, you can be in ninth to 12th grade, and you have to go through an application process. So first you fill out the application, which is online, and then you go through an interview. And it's like really important to have a positive attitude and be reliable, because it's like a really big commitment because you're reaching out to the community. And to ask, access the application, you have to go on Guide's website. All right, and what is that website? Um, Guideinc.org. 
Very good. Okay. So, what's your favorite thing about the YAB? My favorite thing about YAB is the relationships we're able to make in different communities and giving back to the community. I really enjoy helping and spreading the knowledge on drug and alcohol awareness. And how long have you been involved with the YAB? Uh, this is my first year. All right. You're going to go out with a bang. Senior yes. involved in a leadership program. Course, That's yes. great. So, why is it important for youth to be involved in a program like this? Um, a lot of times, like a lot of youth and adults think that youth can't make a change or can't make a difference in the lives of the other people in the community. So YAB gives us a chance to make a difference and to have a voice in our community and to go out and reach people and help people in their lives and stuff. So that's why it's important to me and that's why it's important to I think all of us. Well, I know that it's important to my agency, the coalition that y'all are involved in giving back and really working on strategies that have made a huge difference in the rate of substance abuse among our youth. And I appreciate all that you've done and the youth that have come before you and the ones that are coming after you because I think they're taking applications now for next year's job, yeah, right? Yes. All right, and they can go to the website for that. Wonderful. So what has being involved in YAB done for y'all personally? Um, well, it's helped me realize that I actually do have a voice within Gwinnett and that my voice can be heard through the different projects that we do. And I've learned a lot through it. Uh, through, like, through a lot of the numbers that I've seen, I really didn't know about like the 90% of kids that don't drink alcohol in my school. That was very surprising to me, and that taught me a lot, and taught a lot of kids at my school the same thing. I think that it helped me build a lot of confidence in being a leader and reaching out and wanting to do different opportunities that have to do with drug and alcohol abuse prevention and stuff like that. So I think it was good in building my confidence as a leader. So would y'all recommend it to your peers? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would think so too. So I want to commend all of you for stepping up and being positive role models in our community and for helping other youth to make conscious decisions about staying drug free and alcohol free. And thanks for being here on the show today. For more information on the coalition or to contact any of our guests or to see how you can get involved, you can visit our website at www.gwinnettcoalition.org or call the Gwinnett Helpline at 770-995-3339. Thank you for watching and see you next time on People Helping People.